The artist and teacher Joseph Albers loved to bring the leaves of autumn into his art. He used their exciting colors and shapes to create pictures. I'm Fritz Horstman from the Albers Foundation. Today, we're going to use some of the leaves I've collected to create leaf creatures. Yesterday, I found around 20 leaves lying on the ground. I put them under this heavy book to flatten them. This is not a step that you absolutely have to do, but I recommend it. You'll have much flatter leaves, they'll be easier to use. So I have put my leaves inside these manila folders that also, it'll pull some of the moisture out of the leaves. Um, and you can see that they are nice and flat now. Of course, the leaves are mostly flat to begin with, but there's a little bit of, of waviness in them that when you start to glue them and cut them can be uh, not exactly what you want. Um, so I have flattened them. In addition to the leaves, you'll need scissors, some white sturdy paper, and glue. Okay, let's get started. These are all the leaves that I collected and flattened. I've arranged them so I can see their beautiful shapes and colors. It's autumn here in Connecticut, and so lots of the leaves are starting to change colors. The maple leaves are turning bright red. So I'll have lots to work with when I start to make my leaf creatures. Okay, I'm gonna set these off to the side and get started. Okay, let's see what sorts of animals will show up. Um, Keeping in mind, I can cut my leaves if I want to. I see already this starts to feel like the body of, well, it's already starting to look sort of like a bird, maybe like a, a woodpecker or something with its, its tufted head. But maybe that woodpecker has wings. That, that could be a wing. Do I guess I've got another bright red maple leaf. That could be the other wing. Yeah, okay, but I, I think these stems are getting nice, so I'll cut those off. Leaves cut very easily with scissors, just like paper. I think that the wings would be behind the body, wouldn't they? Yeah. All right, already we've made a woodpecker, a woodpecker in flight. Maybe it's got two little legs down here. I can still use those stems, they become the legs. Oh, we're off to a very good start. Okay. Set this off to the side, and I'll take another piece of paper. I want to get a few ideas going, and then I'll decide which one I want to glue together. Well, this sort of looks like um, shoulders and a body and the beginnings of some arms. So what if I put some legs on this body? Oh, yeah, it's starting to feel, hmm, like we've got a, a, a human. That human needs some hands. Because humans are creatures. if we want. Okay, and the stem is acting like a, a neck. That's nice. Maybe on that neck, we've got a head. Okay, well, I think I'd want to trim the stem a little bit. That's too much neck. Oh, very good. All right. Set this off to the side. We'll try one more. That seems like the body of an animal. So let's let's give it some legs. More legs. They need to be longer. Maybe they're sort of in action, maybe. We use animals not to pounce. Okay, yeah. And what sort of 
head does this animal have? I think this makes a nice head. Maybe like this. Yeah, I like these patterns in there. If I want that, I want to put an eye on that head so we know where it's looking. It's always good to know where an animal's looking. Yeah, good, good. Hmm. Um, and what if we put some bright red feet on this animal? Oh, it sort of looks like it's wearing shoes. That's funny. Um, and okay, I don't know what this animal is. I'm not sure what type of animal this is, but it has a nice tail also. Ha! <laughs> All right, so this seems to be sort of an invented animal, and that's absolutely fine. We don't have to be able to identify all of the animals that we make. We've made three animals now. We've made this invented animal. We've made our human, and we made the woodpecker. I am especially interested in this one, and so I'm going to glue this one down. I'll do that quickly so you can see how I work. I'm going to be using um, some Elmer's glue, which is a liquid glue. You could use a glue stick if you wanted, but it might be a little bit um, hard to work with the leaves with the glue stick, so liquid glue might be best. Using the flattened leaves that I've collected, I created this leaf creature. It's not an animal that I actually have ever seen in nature, but it looks a little bit like an anteater or maybe a squirrel or something else. I like it for several reasons. I like it because it's a fun creature, but also because I can still see the shapes of the leaves, the forms that they took when they grew on the trees and the beautiful colors that they've started to take as they turn in autumn. So now it's your turn. See what you can do. Go out, gather a few leaves, flatten them for a night or maybe two, and see if you can come up with your own leaf creature. There's lots and lots of possibilities. Thanks for watching.